Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again live and direct. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. This message is entitled Battle Scars. <laughs> Battle Scars. Listen, if you have been through anything in life, if you're trying to achieve anything in life, listen, you heard the song, you start from the bottom and now you're trying to go to the top, you're gonna face resistance. Life is going to punch you in the face. Things are going to happen that will, at times, if you're not cautious, will wreck your self-esteem, will wreck your belief system, will hurt your finances, will hurt your, your reputation. People will laugh at you because you fall flat on your face. But guess what? Oftentimes, you don't, you don't succeed the first time you try. Right, right? But here's the thing. Most people, <laughs> you know what the average is for most people uh, failing something they try? It's less than one because most people don't even try one time. Most people just talk themselves out of it before they even do it. Oh, it's not going to work for me. It may work for you, Mike, but it's not going to work for me. I would love to do that. They give you every excuse in the book why it can't happen for them, right? But my Bible tells me I got to have faith in God. But in faith in God, all things are possible to him who believes. My question to you is, do you believe? Do you have that faith that from you can go from where you are to where you want to be, right? I want to give you a quick homework assignment. Write down, you know, five, the next five years of your life. And I want you to write the biggest goals you possibly can think of. Just imagine, write them down. In year one, what you want to accomplish. Year two, what you want to accomplish. Year three, what you want to accomplish. Year four, what you want to accomplish. Year five, what you want to accomplish. Right? And if you have to, if you're like me, you break it down month by month. You pray over it. You speak the word of God over it. And the next, the next thing you got to do is guess what? You got to work. Faith without works is dead. You got to put the work. You got to put the action. You got to put the belief. You got to put your physical power or your mental power or your spiritual power behind what you believe. Many people talk a good game but they don't put no work behind what it is they say they want out of life. Now you can't tell me you wanna have a better life and you're doing absolutely nothing. Did you hear me? In case you missed it, I'ma say it again. You're, you're doing absolutely nothing to bring that dream into reality, right? It's one thing for you to speak it. It's one thing for you to think it. It's one thing for you to write it down. Are you hearing me? But it's another thing for you to actually get up, out the bed, shut the TV off, do whatever you have to do, right? And make your dream become a reality, right? Because God gonna give you the dream in your heart, in your mind. But then he's looking for you to get up and put the action behind what you say you believe. The action behind what you say you want. Okay, this takes a different mindset. This takes a different thinking. But I wanna warn you, I wanna prepare you ahead of time that no matter what it is that you're going for in life, whether it's your own business, whether it's to lose weight, whatever, Right? You're going to have some battle scars. Life is going to not always give you what you think you should have. Life is going to give you what you deserve. Okay? It's going to give you what you deserve. And the person you are today, you're not going to be that. You're not going to be that same person in order to reach that goal. You're going to have to go through a metamorphosis. You're going to have to go through some changes, right? Within your discipline, right? The, the, the part of your, yourself that likes to just um, procrastinate and, and sit back and wait. Oh, I, I'll do that, but I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to do that tomorrow, but I'll do that next week. Right? And I was going to do that next week, but I, and, and, and the week turns into months and months turn into years. You're going to have to turn into a different person. You're going to have to be a different type of animal. Okay? You got to have to have a different type of mindset in order for you to reach those goals. Okay? If you look at a person like me and you had a chance to sit down and talk with me, you understand I got battle scars. You understand I've been through some things that would like to kill some people. That some people would commit suicide over. Not that I'm advocating that. Right? I have been through some things that have been very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, humiliating. Right? Where people look at you and be like, oh, you're a fake preacher. You ain't going to be this. You don't have no church. You're an internet preacher. Right? You're not this. You're not that. But I use that as motivation. 
I use that as motivation because now we are expanding on the radio. And now we're from one radio station, we're getting ready to go to two radio stations. And then from two to 10, from 10 to 20, from 20 to 40, to 60, to 80, to 100. Are you hearing me? Right? Those battle scars is what makes you. And it depends how you let those battle scars, right? How they let, how you let them heal on you. I don't know if you ever got a scab or a cut, right? And it depends. You put that alcohol on it, it's going to burn at first. But after a while, a scab is going to grow on it. And then it's going to grow hard. Then it's going to grow your skin back. So what if what does not kill you will make you stronger? But you got to be willing to go through what you got to go through to get to where you're trying to get to. I'm not letting nothing stop me. I made up my mind. If it don't kill me, it's going to make me stronger. Because no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. That's the mindset you got to have. And like I said, I am, I am warning you. I'm forewarning you that when you decide to go after your goals, when you decide to go after your dreams, when you decide to get out of debt, when you decide to not only start the business, for your business to thrive, when you decide to buy your own house or buy houses, right? When you decide to lose the weight, whatever it is that you decide to do, I am warning you that it's not going to be easy. But the question I'm, that I have for you is, do you think it's going to be worth it? Because I know for me, every time I preach the gospel to somebody and somebody have a chance to get born again, it's worth it. Every time, every time I chance I speak to somebody and motivate them to go from where they are to where they want to be, for me, it's worth it. Right? All the heartache and pain that I've suffered in the past is worth it. But, but the Bible says that if you humble yourself, he shall exalt you. Okay? In due season. And so I'm not worried about what people think about me. I'm not worried about how things look. I'm not worried about how things appear. And I'm not even thinking about my past because I know that my future is brighter than my past. That's a bomb going off. Boom! Are you hearing me? Battle scars. That's right. Battle scars, right? I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to go after all of my dreams. I'm ready to go after all my goals. Here's the thing I want to say to you as I get ready to close out is this. You want to put it all on the table. You want to put it all on the line. My mom just, you know, she just passed away as I said to you before. And one of the, there were certain things that I wanted to do for her. I, I did a lot of things for her, but there were certain things that I wanted to do for her, like buy her a home, right, a condo. I wanted to do that for her before she passed away. And I, and I, I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't in a situation at the time to do that. And at first, when, I, when she passed away, that's something that came to my mind, boom. Now in this life, I'll never have a chance to do that. And so there's some things I want to do for my wife. There's some things I want to do for my kids. There's some things I want to do for myself personally. There's some things I want to do for people who I have never met before. Like build a campus and be able to uh, minister to them in different kind of ways. Okay? And so for me, is I cannot let a day go by without going after everything that I want to accomplish in life for the fact of you are here for a certain amount of time and you got to give it all that you've got every single day working towards your goals and your dreams because I don't want that feeling again of I wish I could have, should have, but I did it. Are you hearing me? You want to make sure that everything that you have written down that you're knocking out those goals one by one. Boom, I wanted to go back to school. Did it. Boom, I wanted to go on the Dean's List. Did it. Boom, I wanted to get a new job. Did it. Boom, I wanted to start my own business. Did it. Boom, I wanted to pay off these debts so I could get my credit score up. Did it. Boom, I wanted to buy a new house. Did it. Boom, I wanted to start my business. Did it. Boom, I wanted to lose weight. Did it. Boom, I wanted to raise my kids and put them in a private school. Did it. Everything that you wrote down is possible. I need you to say that with me. It's possible. Come on, say it with me. It's possible. Come on, one more time. It's possible. Once you understand that it's possible and you begin to knock out these goals one by one, your life will explode from one level to the next. But if you don't, write the vision and make it plain and go after those goals with reckless abandon, your life will continue to stay stagnant and stay the same because you don't want to get battle scars, right? This is your man, Mike Bowens, and I'm signing off until next time saying, be blessed.